Hello everyone, my name is Heather Paulding. I'm the author blogger of Spunky Real Deals and we're standing in my foyer and I am going to show you how to do um, do-it-yourself upholstery. That's right, we're going to reupholster a chair and uh, it's a lot easier than you think. <clears throat> I have to say, my mother-in-law brought me these chairs. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the blue. That's what I just did. Uh, but up here is the faded out floral outdated print that I wanted to cover up. Um, and in the corners, there's little pins. So I pop them out and I can actually push them back in the sides. So what I did is I draped some fabric like so and I cut a rough outline around the chair um, to cover the ends and then I started hot gluing around the sides and it looks pretty darn good. I don't know. I don't want to bring it too close. It'll just get blurry. But it, it looks really good. It looks like I didn't hot glue it, but I did. Um, and I wonder why my son thinks you can fix everything with hot glue. Maybe it's because you can. So I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top with the blue. And then, did I bring, oh yeah, in the back, I can't see the, okay, go back right here, I'm going to uh, take a piece of the burlap, the burlap's not very comfortable to sit on, but I'm going to take a piece of the burlap because I love the shabby chic feel, and uh, I'm going to take some of the teeny little pins and just pin it up back, so I'm, I'm not even going to do anything, this is like a no-sew, got a hot glue gun, um, hot glue very carefully uh, around the seams and you got it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Alright, thank you everyone for joining me. Again, my blog is SpunkyRealDeal.com. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them down below. I'll um, probably be doing a post later uh, revealing the lovely chairs that I've done or made over. Um, so um, I'll leave the link below for you. Okay, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.